What's up? So, looks like the Maysack is down. It was right in the middle of this job here. And, uh, yeah, let me show you. There's a problem. There's a hot coupling in here, which I suspect is the reason. Looks like someone's been here before. I've had this machine a couple of years now, and I've seen a lot of bad repairs and patchworks that the previous owners have done to it. But it's perfect for the type of jobs I do here in my shop. So I want to spend a lot of time and effort going forward, get this machine into a real good condition. Seems to be some kind of sintered bronze thing. We are into the hearth coupling now and I can just about see the teeth in here on the inner ring and out here we got the middle ring. The hearth coupling consists of an inner ring that is bolted to the spindle rotor, an outer ring that is bolted to the turret housing, and a middle ring that locks everything together. The middle ring is moved axially by the machine's hydraulic system. Got some sparkly bits. Okay, nothing seems to be broken at least. That's a good start. Got some sparkles in the oil, but no big chunks or anything. Got this one out now. And found this half of the pin stuck in this hole. Found the other half of it still in the outer ring over here. Someone's been here before. That ain't good. So it looks like the boar survived. The back side of the inner ring is slightly tapered and I believe it's because it acts as a spring because it's impossible to axially align the inner ring and the outer ring perfectly.
this piece is fixed now had a small lip on the inside here most likely because this piece has been rubbing in here when the clutch was uh, misaligned so ground it down all the way that's a smooth now still have good contact area here for both the inner and the outer ring also flattened this surface here uh, the metal was pushed in quite a bit most likely from a crash by the previous owner still left a few millimeters over here to make good metal on metal contact and same with the other half got like four or five millimeters over here Nice and smooth with no section. So, I never crashed the machine. However, it didn't take long after I bought it to realize someone had. I never had any problems with the coupling when machining soft metals, but I quickly realized I was limited when cutting steel. I could cut it with 2.5 mm radial depth of cut and 0.2 mm feed rate, but then I was really close to the spindle slipping. I believe it was misaligned in such a way that the coupling instead acted like a friction clutch. Gonna torque down these bolts now. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can use here to stop the spindle from rotating. So, gonna have to do this. Not a fan of it, but, well, the only idea I got.
So got a bit of movement. <laughs> ah, not completely see there, but all of the O-rings in place. Yes. Yes. Where are you? Huh? Oh. Everything is ready for reassembly now. I did uh, manage to remove the cable chain, so I get a bit more elbow room now. I tried to remove the motor mount. Unfortunately, it's too far integrated with the end support for the ball screw. I would have liked to remove that bracket. Unfortunately, the switch at the top 
is the reference switch for the x-axis and if I mess with it I'm gonna have to recalibrate the machine. Time to swap out the brake. Looks like someone's done it before. Cable on the new brake was too short, so I had to do this. There we go, cable chain left and then we can finally run the machine again. Okay, so let's see how much the x-axis moves when I press the stop. Eight point seven millimeters, but that's a diameter value, so divided by two. 